The thing that poverty robs you of, apart from having no hope, is personal dignity. You're homeless. You haven't got any food. You don't have anywhere to live. You're exiled from society. And it's only when you have charities like ours that kind of support the people who embrace them and say, look, no, you're worthwhile. Come here, we're going to feed you. We're going to give you some shelter. My parents were incapacitated, both of them at the same time, when I was about six years old. And I was rescued charitably by my very dear grandmother and my three aunts and uncles. And I realized the value of having been rescued from that kind of fate. I think education is very important to all of us, particularly young people who have been in out of home care, who don't have the definite prospect of being able to go on to tertiary or similar studies, diplomas or apprenticeships and that kind of thing. Primarily because they don't have any money. They're uh, released from their out of home care, now at 21, but they don't have the means of financing the sort of education I think they need. And we know that there are very bright people amongst that cohort. And I think, bright or not, they deserve the opportunity of tertiary, diploma, apprenticeship, whatever it is that gives them qualifications to go forward confidently in life. I want to make as big a donation as I can possibly afford uh, to ensure that there is funding, as much funding as possible, for the Foundation to do all the good works that it is doing, all of which I want to support beyond my death. It was important to not only make a bequest, but to advocate others to make a similar bequest, which I have done probably to the irritation of my relatives and friends. <laughs> I trust the Sisters of Charity Foundation implicitly to use my donation and all other donations in the best possible way. I have confidence that that is what they're doing already and I know they will continue to do that. When you die, you don't need to worry about finding ways and means to look after yourself. You have more opportunity of leaving more. And in my case, um, I've made my family well aware, having provided for them pretty well in their lives, that I intend to leave a substantial amount of money to the foundation and I would advocate for other people to do the same thing. I give to charity because I have a very invested feeling about doing something for people who have had a life less fortunate than my own. I'm very, I'm very conscious of the fact that I've had a very lucky life. I need to repay.